Today I'd like to talk a bit about gypsy jazz rhythm guitar playing, also known as la pompe. Now it's a subject that's uh, much discussed and argued about among players and uh, so at this point I'd just like to make a disclaimer and say that I don't consider myself any amazing rhythm guitar player. Um, really I just want to help people who are maybe coming to the genre for the first time uh, try and get a handle on what it's about. So if you listen to YouTube, um, there's quite a few examples of bad rhythm playing. Um, so you may hear something a bit like this. So as I hope you could hear, that was um, rhythmically that was really weird. There was all these sort of upstrokes going on, and it just didn't sound very nice. Um, so what a lead guitar player will be looking for in a rhythm player is uh, to keep the chords fairly simple, and also to chop out the rhythm really nice and tidily. Um, so that's what we'll be looking at. Now it's a common misconception among people that. Um, the rhythm goes like this. So in other words, a bass note on the one and three and the main bulk of the chord on the two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, well, in actual fact, the reverse is true. And so the main bulk of the chord comes on the one and three and the two and four is just a rhythmic stab. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So for playing the one and the three, what I'm doing is just, as, as I'm striking the strings, just pressing uh, the strings down with my left hand and then after the stroke, immediately releasing it again. So you're only really pressing down for the time that the the plectrum takes to go through all the strings. So that's the one and the three. And on the two and the four, it's even less of that. So I mean you hardly hardly press the strings down at all. It's mainly just a rhythmic stab. So that's one. So a good way to start getting this into your playing is to uh, get a metronome and set it on something like, oh, I've got it on a hundred here, and start off by just playing the one and three. Concentrate on getting a nice crisp chord. So, when you're ready to carry on, you can put in the two and four. Um, but I'd only start by doing a two first and just leaving the, the four blank. So And when you're ready, you can add in the four as well.
So do that for uh, increasingly faster tempos. So, for instance, one, four, four. And when you're ready, add in the four as well. as well. Okay, and that's it, really. Um, so what I suggest you do is... Um, is all, when, when you've got that down, then go and uh, listen to other players as well, and because um, there's, there's lots more to it. I mean, that's just a, that's just a tiny percentage of what's going on. So, um, so yeah, go and listen to other players and uh, get some more ideas, and um, hopefully you'll develop your own way of playing rhythm. Okay, thanks. <laughs>